Hello and thank you for clicking on Kelly Legends Media. I'm going to get right into this video, uh, but before I start, I just want to say a few things. Uh, first of all, um, I made a couple of videos there at my house in one of the rooms in the back. And um, that's not that's not a new studio or anything like that. That's, that's just somewhere that I used to make videos when I first got started. Uh, I stopped doing them there for different reasons, and I started doing them in my car, where not only did I feel more comfortable, uh, I just was able to get away from the distractions that happen around uh, the house there. You know, there's a, a lot going on all around me, so it's so a lot of noise, more than, than out here, actually. Um, especially, like, right now, it's real nice and peaceful, man. The air's blowing through, you know, the windows. It, it's nice, you know? Um... But yeah, just to answer uh, the question that came out a lot on the on the comment section, uh, no, it's not it's not my new studio or anything like that. If you go back to some of my old my older first videos, you'll see that uh, I used to do them there in that room um, and in the house. But um, I am working on a new place to do my 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 videos. Uh, I have I got my my backdrop i got all, all kinds of stuff going on and all this is going to start happening in october i are start going to going to start doing some lives um i've already got the software and everything i needed for to do the lives i just kind of been shying away from it because i don't know what i'm doing so once i get over that hump uh we'll be going live more often where we could uh, talk and interact with one another uh it's just getting over that little hump but I, i'm not even going to miss with it until the beginning of october because I have some stuff I have to do at the end of the month. And um, when I get started, I want to just stay focused and, and, and pushing on what, I, what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing some podcasts. I have some guests lined up. And I've already got my equipment and everything that I need to do that. All my lighting, my mics, uh, uh, my equipment. So all of that is going to begin in October. The, the, the channel become more, will become more interesting when we're able to uh, interact more and and you won't have to just stare at this ugly face and, and listen to me talk all the time. <laughs> Which I appreciate each and every one of you for, you know? Okay, so today's video. Today's video is going to be about uh, prison and getting paid while you're in prison. And I'm not talking about getting paid by exercising and and, and you know coming out with that chiseled bruce lee body and and stuff no talking about getting paid while you're in prison so that when you come out you're equipped and prepared to face life head on you know and, and most importantly get some employment you know i know on some yards it's very difficult to do uh, a lot of things you're not allowed to do you know you have a lot of restrictions um of course, one of the things that that everybody should be focused on is is the drug the drug problem, the drug issue. You know, if you're strung out on drugs, man, now's a your perfect opportunity to not be. Okay, uh, missing with with that scene in prison is very dangerous, very volatile. You lose your life. More more people get booked and removed from the yard behind prison debts. That you know, it, it's up there at the top of the list of reasons why why you get taken off the yard. You know, you be owing money, you don't pay. Uh, gets to a point where you got to go, you know. You get made an example of. But not letting that be the deterrent. Just the fact that the damage that, that doing, missing with chemicals and stuff does to the body and to the mind and your ability to function, you know, at the top of your game. You know, while you're in there, it's, it's a good time to just... Uh, not just work out on your physique, man, and on your strength, but work out, work on your mind, you know. Um, I know that you, you can't get on the Suboxone program if you're, if you're uh, active and, and involved, you know, with certain, with certain uh, programs. Uh, you just can't do it. They, they, in fact, I don't even know if the Rasa nowadays could even uh, get on Suboxone. I heard they couldn't. That, you know, you couldn't get on the... Just like you can't take psych meds. It's not allowed. You can't get on the suboxone to stop using. Same thing. You know, which is which is kind of kind of uh, bad for the hint that because if they have a desire to stop, there's something there that might help them if they don't abuse it. 
but they're not allowed to to do that. It doesn't matter. I, I've I've kicked so many times in prison, cold turkey. Sometimes it'd be because uh, we'd go on lockdown for six months and the yard would dry up, or I didn't have the money and I had enough sense not to fool around without having the money to pay my debt. So I, I would just tie off and I wouldn't do it, you know. And I'd clean up and I'd stay a month or two clean. And then one day I'd just ah, F it and I'd go and do it, you know. Uh, an addict's mind is 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 is, uh, is ugly ugly that way, you know. Addiction is a problem. That's why it, it's it's called an addiction, you know. If it was easy, then people would leave it when it harms them, but they don't. You know, let me tell you a real quick story. Uh, so there was this this monkey, right? I don't know if, if all of you's heard this, but uh, or some of you's might have. But anyways, there was this monkey. They did an experiment with this monkey. So. They were giving this monkey uh, negra, carga, right? And the monkey would get it and take it. It got to the point where they'd offer this monkey eat one or the other. Either you're going to get food or you're going to get carga. And he'd always go for the carga. They'd have to force the monkey to, to, to eat and not offer him the carga and just offer him food to eat. Otherwise, he'll take the carga if it was one, one or the other, okay? So they got this monkey and they cut him off completely. They cut him off. They stopped giving him the drugs, right? And he went through withdrawals. You know, he went through it. Uh, the, their physiology is very much like ours. And he kicked. He had to kick. Cold turkey, right? So they go back after the, the monkey's clean now. He's clean and, and he's doing good. And they go back and they start this, this thing with him again. They went and they took him a, uh, some dope. And what did he do? He reached out and got it and he threw it. And started yelling and jumping around his cage and shaking his, he was pissed. Right? Then they they got him food and, and, and the chiva, right? And the monkey came up, grabbed the dope and threw it. Grabbed the food, went in. And ate his, ate his banana or whatever they gave him. But my point is the monkey had enough sense, you know, to know that that stuff was bad for him. And once he got off it, he, 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 he was mad at it. You know what I mean? And when I seen that little experiment, man, it blew my mind, you know, that the monkey had enough sense for to do that, you know? And it'd be nice if, if a lot of uh, people would uh, have that kind of mindset, that kind of determination, that kind of willpower, you know? But anyways, um, even though you can't get on a suboxone program in prison, you know, if you got loved ones that are that are caught up or something, they could tie off and they can kick. They can do it. You know, they can do it. And, uh, you know, that would be my first suggestion is to get off of that. And, and if there's a time, you know, where you're separated from the opportunity to, to get anything, a huevo, where you just can't get to it, then you clean up, stay clean, be smart, and do as many programs as you can, self-help programs, all of that stuff, you know. But the most important program I would recommend is the education part of things. If you haven't got your G GED, get your GED, and, and if you do, get in the college program. You know, you, you, you get out with an associate's degree, you might not think that that helps you, but it, it, it does. It'll open doors for you, even though you have a criminal record, even though you have a lengthy record. Because I did that, and, and I was still able to get out and work in the aerospace industry. How? I lied. Have you ever been convicted for a crime? Never. Not even a misdemeanor? No. I told him straight out. Did they check? A couple of places did. After I was working, you know, they went and did their, their background check whenever human resources got to me. But they never fired me behind that, you know, because I'd, I'd start working and I'd get down. You know, I'd stay busy, I'd go in early, I'd leave late. You know, I was on the grind and I was doing a good job, you know. So, you know, good people are hard to find. You'll be appreciated and you'll be, once you get your foot in the door, man, do good. And that, you know, a lot of times they'll overlook your, your convictions. You know, they'll give you a chance, you know. Uh, recommend keep them tattoos off your faces, man. And this part of your, you know, see, if you look at, at my tattoos... 
they end at the at the sleeve at the end of the sleeve so when i put on a dress shirt you can't see my tattoos you know and and that was by design you know i kept it in mind i kept them off my neck so when i wear a shirt and a tie you can't see you can't see none of my tattoos you know uh, if you're going to get your face all blasted up, it's going to make it hard for you to get a job, man. And, and you know what? That's the most important thing in a man's life is employment. you got to have employment. GR is not going to get it. Disability is not going to get it. you got to have a job, a job that you like doing and a job that pays well. And the only way you're going to do that is if you get education. You, you Man, with some of the things that some of these people go through in prison, they'd make excellent counselors. Man, they could speak from experience and, and and their clients will respect that because they know you know what you're talking about so to get a, a, a associate's degree that'll get you into the counseling field you know or, or a, a drug rehabilitation program field you know the doors are there it's offered to you a business degree you could get a, a, there's several degrees offered you know and, and I highly recommend that you spend your time in the books and doing classes uh, parenting classes to become better parents. Some of us don't have them skills, you know. Uh, um, I wish I took more parenting classes, you know, and, and picked up more knowledge. It, it, it all helps, man. It all helps to survive. Regardless what obstacles are put on you in prison, man, do what you can to get over them, around them, and get yourself taken care of. Nobody's going to take care of you in there, man. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to prepare you to, to get out and not be part of that revolving door, that recidivism rate. You don't want to be part of that. You want to get out and stay out, you know. And um, really the only way to do it is um, is to get paid while you're in there, man. Let CDC pay for your rehabilitation, you know. And, and go to go to prison and take advantage of anything that that they offer. All that costs money out here in the streets. It's for free. You're incarcerated. Take advantage of it. You know. Even if you have to ask permission to certain people and explain yourself why you want to do it, you got a date. You know, you want to keep your date and and get back out here. You know. Um, even if you're a lifer, you know, encourage these lifers to get all of these programs done and get educated and everything. Because things change, things are always changing, you know. Uh, I had an uncle that, that was on death row in San Quentin, and before they executed him, they changed the law. Not this time, this was back in the 70s. They had changed the law, and he got off of death row. Eventually, he got out and he came home, you know. And now you've seen what happened to our, to our days today, ha what's happening. San Quentin's closed down. These guys are on the main line. And look at all the people that had life that are out now um, through these new propositions and everything that, that have been voted on and, and government uh, uh, Governor Newsom opening doors and stuff for certain individuals that that did things to improve themselves, you know, and, and get themselves out of prison, you know. And, and I'm almost I'm almost 100 percent sure that these men will not go back, man, you know. They know that they had lost their life. Their life was over. They've been given a second chance. Man, take all your second chances while you're in there. Do what you can to get back out here, you know. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Take care of you. Nobody else is going to do it. Encourage your, your loved ones in prison. And those of you who's in prison I, that watch this, man, I, I hope I plant that seed in your heart and in your mind to, to do these things so you could get out here with us, man. You know, it's no joke in there. You want to, you don't want to spend your life in there. You don't want to die in one of themselves, an old man, with all your life wasted, doing foolish things. You know. Anyway, this is my video for today. I'm sure it's not going to get a lot of views. Uh, I really, I really don't care if this just reaches one person, the right person. It's all good. So if you know anybody, this might help. Encourage them. Uh, when you're talking to them on the phone or visiting them, encourage them, you know, to do the damn thing, you know, it's, it's doable. Thank you for watching, and I, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you on my next video. Stay strong, stay up, and stay free.